Good morning everyone. I'm Midshipman Lucio Austin Dasco Baldorado from NS1A3. So today I'm going to explain the plan of loading and unloading and dangerous cargo. So the loading and unloading plan should indicate any allowances for cargo stoppage which may be necessary allow the ship the ballast when the loading rate is high shipping ship. Bunkering Bunkering Door check cargo training also cargo training and also the loading and or unloading plan should only be changed when a revised plan should be kept by the ship terminal for a period of six months a copy of agreed loading of a loading plan and the subsequent amendment to it should lodge with the appropriate authority of the port states so, next is what is the cargo plan a ship cargo plan shows the distribution as well the disposition of all parcels of cargo aboard the vessels. The plan is formulated usually from the workbooks of the deck officers, a fair copy being produced before departure from the final port of loading. Ensure that the loading area has good lighting at all times. The loading area should also be away from both vehicles and pedestrians. Ensure that the loading area is firm, flat, clean, and free from potholes and other obstruction that may cause slips or trips. So, who is the responsible for the entire cargo operation in ports, including loading and unloading and cargo planning? The responsible for the entire cargo operation in ports is the chief officers. He is responsible for the entire cargo operations in port, which, is, which includes loading and unloading and cargo planning.